So now I've got this old Union night latch. Obviously, it's a well-worn lock. It has got Union stamped on the front. And these are pretty easy to pick open, but you have to pick them twice. Basically, you pick it, you turn the core 360, the bolt moves halfway across. You pick it again, you get it open fully. So the quick way of getting these open is with a plug spinner. Now, I've used this in the past. I don't use it very often, so I thought I'd have a play about with it today. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick it, and then we're going to spin it twice to get it open. Now, if you weren't using a plug spinner, to pick this open, you've got to actually tension it anti-clockwise. But because we're using the spinner, we're going to tension it clockwise. We're going to pick it that way and then spin back. You can pick this anti-clockwise as well. It's not an hard lock to pick. But it's a cool old lock, and I wanted to show you the plug spinner working. And I also want to show you the mechanism in the back of this once we get it picked, because it's pretty cool. I like seeing inside locks, and I'm sure some of you do as well. First of all, we need to pick it. I say normally it's a pretty standard lock to pick. Nothing too taxing. There you go, we get it open. So, like I say, you can't open it that way. You need to go anti-clockwise. We're going to put it in that position. We're going to get the plug spinner, and then we're going to spin it so we can open it up. So I'm just going to turn that once, turn that twice. So we'll put the plug spinner in, and watch it spin around. Watch the core spin. So now that's gone past the pins, so now we can actually open it up. So I'll put my tension tool back in, turn it around, and it's open. Now, if we was to continue turning, it would lock back up. But we don't want to do that. We want to spin it again. So again, put the plug spinner on, turn it twice, put it back in, and again, it spun it round. So now it'll open up fully. So how cool is that? Obviously, easy to pick anyway, but plug spinners do come in handy. But I want to show you the mechanism inside the back. I thought it was pretty cool anyway. It's not often you do a pick and gut on these type of locks. Take that off. So that's the mechanism. So basically, when you turn the core, that nib there goes into one of these and it pushes it down. And you can just see there when it pushes it down. It, I was just pointed out with this. When you push it down, there's like a semicircle thing there and it clears that. So you can then push it across. But as you're going across, watch it will drop into the second one. And obviously you need to pick it again. So if you push it down, We'll close it back up and I'll show you opening it up. So when I was picking it, obviously I turned the core, that nib there presses down onto that, like so, which releases it. And then as you turn in the core, it locks it back up again. So you pick it again. Again, that part of the core goes down there and it opens it up. Watching the video back, I didn't think I was explaining it too well. So what I've done is I've edited the video and I've added this part in. I've got a key, and fold it flat. I've also re-picked the lock. You can see now the core has turned. That's in the pick position. So we can put this into the core, we can turn it around, and I can actually show you the mechanism working. So as you can see, I've already picked the lock. I'll put the key in, and we'll just turn it around. So like I was trying to explain, as you turn the key, that pushes down. The piece at the bottom clears, then it slides across. Then as it slides across and the key continues turning, this part lifts back up, which lets the button piece lift back up, which then drops back into there. So the bolt is locked again. And then obviously as you continue turning the key, once you get to the top, all the pins drop back in place and it's re-locked and you have to re-pick it. I might as well just quickly take it off and show it you. So that comes off. I'm not sure if this is supposed to come off that easy. I'm not sure if that's faulty. But if you push this down now, and lift that up, brings the mechanism out. And that's it. So yeah, that's an old uh, Union night latch. Picked twice, well, picked and opened twice with the plug spinner and gutted. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try it a bit.